principle of opportunity cost. Opportunity cost essentially is the foregone benefit from the best alternative. It results from uh, having limited resources or having to deal with scarcity. You always have to sacrifice to get something else. Uh, we're not talking about money necessarily, it could be value of your time. Ultimately, the most scarce resource of them all is time, since there's only 24 hours in a day. In, if you engage in study, you could not at the same time uh, be watching TV, for example. Uh, there's such a principle that there is no free lunch. If you want to increase one of the activities, you will have to give up something else. Opportunity cost uh, principle applies to both individuals, firms, and actually whole economies of countries. The principle of opportunity cost for the country could be represented in this uh, graph known as the production possibilities curve or production possibilities frontier. In the simplest example, we have just two goods that are being produced in the uh, country. Uh, in this case, wheat and steel. At the point A, which is inside of production possibilities frontier, uh, the allocation is not efficient because you can increase the production of steel or you can increase the production of wheat or both and still not run into the constraint of not have enough resources. Point B, on the other hand, is unattainable because that far out, uh, the resources uh, could not be, uh, given the current state of technology, be allocated between both wheat and steel uh, to get to that point. So if you want to produce uh, this much uh, wheat, your steel production actually has to suffer and come down quite a bit. Uh, and be in a level of, say, a thousand uh, units per year. On the other hand, if you want to have your steel production at 2,000 uh, units per year, your wheat production will almost have to be zero uh, because the point B uh, represents uh, the point that's just unattainable given the current state of technology. However, if we go through a technological breakthrough, we can increase both production of steel and wheat, uh, one or the other, or the combination of both, uh, because at any given allocation, uh, now more is possible. So technology is one of those uh, components that are allowing us to produce more, produce better, and uh, maybe utilize our resources more efficiently. Principle of opportunity cost is also the basis for international trade. Let's consider the simplest example when we have just two individuals, person A and person B, both of whom could just uh, engage in two activities, either catch fish or bake bread. Person A can uh, catch five uh, fish and uh, bake ten loaves of bread, while person B at the same time can only catch uh, two fish and uh, bake five loaves of bread. Even though person A has an absolute advantage in both fish and bread production, uh, person B actually has a comparative advantage in producing bread. How come? Well, if you look at the math, uh, the opportunity cost of one loaf of bread for person A is half of a fish, 0.5 fish. For the person B, however, the opportunity cost of one loaf of bread is 0.4 fish. So, in in terms of fish, production of bread is relatively cheaper for person B. Both of them could be made better off if person B chooses to specialize in production of bread, person A chooses to specialize in production of fish, and then they trade with each other. Check the math, it actually works out. 